Yay, the quiz is over. I imagine that probably didn't take too long. All right, um, this is our last section that's from Algebra 2 for this unit. Uh, after this, it's just uh, next class will be review, and then we'll take that mini test over just the algebra stuff. Um, the only thing that's new here is this idea of complex fractions, which is basically fractions within fractions. Um, and remember that the fraction bar just means uh, divided by. So when you see a fraction over a fraction like this, it just means we're going to take this fraction divided by this fraction. We already know how to divide. We would take this one times the reciprocal of this one downstairs. So let me deal with this one. Um, we express that as divisional. That would be like taking a plus b over 4 and dividing that by a squared plus b squared over 4, which is in easier terms, a plus b over 4 times 4 over a squared plus b squared. It doesn't ask me to do it, so I'm not going to finish that one. All right, let's do some actual ones. Okay, this is actual just arithmetic. Um, again, let's get a fraction for the top thing, a fraction for the bottom thing, and then go to town doing that um, thing I just talked about. All right, so 3 quarters minus an eighth. Gosh, you do that in your head. That's 6 eighths minus 1 eighth. That's 5 eighths. And then that bottom thing, I might as well do this with a safe space. That bottom thing is 2 plus 1 twelfth, which would be like 2 and a half. 2 and a twelfth is a mixed number. That's 25 twelfths. Yeah, okay. If I can reduce any of these right now, that's kind of a good idea. Uh, I can't really do that, so I might as well just go straight to this step. Uh, but now, notice, I can cancel some stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that the 25 and the 5 will... will, will um, Break down to 5 and 1. The 12 and the 8, I can divide both those by 4, and they become 2 and 3, so this is 3 over 10. Uh, again, just like the other stuff we're doing in this unit, you can't use your calculator on the quiz or test, but you could plug this into your calculator and see if you get this. Okay, same thing. 1 over x plus 2, well, I can't really do anything with that. That's kind of already reduced to be 1 fraction. 1 over x plus 2 divided by, ew, what's this bottom thing? Let's worry about this. To make that into one fraction, I can call that 6x over x plus, sorry, 4 over x. So this is going to become 6x plus 4 over x. So when I divide that, it's going to be 1 over x plus 2 times x over 6x plus 4. Um, I can kind of reduce that. Like I can factor this guy. I can factor that and call that 2 times 3x plus 2, but that doesn't really help. Uh, there's nothing really here that cancels, so I think I'm kind of stuck with what I have here. It's x on the numerator, and 2, I like writing that first, times x plus 2, times 3x plus 2, and that's as far as I can go. All right, um, the top thing, let's talk about this. The numerator on the top, oh, I can just do this right here, uh, it makes the best... Um, common denominator here is going to be that. So the top thing is going to become 5 over 2x. I'm going to divide that by, what does the bottom become? Ugh. It's going to be in 12x's. This thing I have to multiply by 4. This thing I have to multiply by 3. So that's 7. I'll just remember that and write that 7 here. 12x, and this is 5 over 2x. Uh, I can cancel out the x's and the 12 and the 2 I can reduce and call that 6 and 1. Uh, so I'm left with 30 over 7. Interesting. Um, now I divided out an x on top and bottom. Or, sorry, I canceled out certain x on top and bottom. Remember that this wouldn't work if x were 0. Notice how I make all those denominators 0. It would also make this denominator 0, so we got to be careful about that. All right, this one looks fairly ugly. Look at all those crazy fractal bars. Okay, so to make this have a common denominator, i got to make this over x minus 1. So that's going to be x minus 1 over x minus 1 for this, this one here. So this top thing is going to be x minus 1 plus 1. Well, I like to call that x. Then I'm dividing by this, this thing over here. Same kind of thing. Instead of calling this 1, I'm going to call this x squared plus 1. So, sorry, x squared minus 1 over x squared minus 1 plus this. So it's going to be x squared minus 1 plus 1, which is just x squared over x squared minus 1. When I divide, it's x over x minus 1. Oh, I think I smell some factoring in my future, so I'm going to go ahead and factor this x squared minus 1. Because looky here, what's going to happen? I can cancel some stuff 
do, 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 do. Oh, and the x and the x squared, that cancels down to just being x underneath. So what I'm left with is x plus 1 over x. Yes, indeed. Wow, this is going to be the shortest video of all time. All right. Um, I gotta change this to have a, a dominant of k minus two. This is kind of a nightmare. So I have to take k times k minus two plus one over k minus two. That's the top fraction. Whoops. Yeah, that's the top. That's okay. Uh, divided by this bottom fraction, also gonna be in k minus two. Uh, k squared for the first thing plus this thing's gonna be k minus two over k minus two. All right, so let's go ahead and expand this as I do this. And then this is a multiplication. Flip it over. Oh, look what happened. Some interesting stuff. Well, first of all, these cancel. Uh, and I can cancel some of this stuff if I have common factors, so I think I have to start factoring stuff. This first one... Sorry, my handwriting so bad today. I haven't done this in a while. Especially with algebra. I'm really bad at it. Minus, minus, and the bottom one becomes uh, plus here, minus here. So I can cancel at least one of those, so that's it. K minus one over K plus two. All right, this is the last one. No, I got another page. Um, all right, this top thing, nasty denominator is going to have to be X, Y squared. I guess I could have centered that a little better. Uh, this one needs a y to get that denominator. This one needs an x to get that denominator. Okay, and then the denominator is going to have to be a fraction in x squared, y squared. Yeah, this is not very common. Top, or sorry, first fraction needs a y. Second fraction needs an x. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, if I write this out as a flippy. Whoa, sorry, right click, didn't mean to. Uh, y minus x, well, lovely, some stuff will cancel right now. Boom, boom, and one of those x's will cancel and all of the y's cancel. So this thing just turns out to be x. It's a really fancy name for x. Now, again, make sure um, that there's certain values of this that don't make sense, or even like back here. Like in this expression, this will equal this whenever we, you know, we have values of k that don't make any of the denominators zero. So k can't be two, um, k can't make this thing zero, so I guess k can't be one either. Um, and so, like in this one, we can't have x be zero or y be zero. So this expression is equal to this as long as x and y aren't either one of them zero. All right, last one. I'm not even eight minutes late. Okay, now I am. Uh, I wanna factor that, but maybe I'll wait. Two x, oh, I just can't wait, I'm gonna factor it x, x, 3 and 1, add, add, divided by, okay, pretty sure my denominator, common denominator in that denominator fraction stuff is going to do that, and guess what, those are the same, that's lovely. Um, this is going to be 4 times x plus 1, plus 2 times x plus 3. Now, have you seen this enough? What's going to happen here in this next step? This is going to stay the same. This is going to flip over. All of these things are going to cancel. Can I save that step now? This is going to go below this. So I'm going to have 2x over all this stuff. Let's expand it, see if something factors out. I kind of doubt it, but I'm not 100% sure. 4x plus 4 plus 2x plus 6, which is, oh yeah, a 2 is going to come out eventually. I guess I could have seen that here with the 4 and the 2. Uh, this is 8x plus 10, so the whole thing's going to be x over 4x plus 5. Again, this only works when x is not negative 3, x is not negative 1, and of course down here x can't be negative 5 fourths either. Same, same idea. All right, 3x over x minus 2, x plus 2, that's from the numerator, divided by... Okay, common denominator here. Well, this is really 2 times x plus 2. Best common denominator here is that, 2 times x plus 2. All right, so the first fraction, in order to be raised to that denominator, I'm going to multiply everything in that thing by 2, and this one's ready to go. So that's all that is. Um, again, I can see that this stuff is going to cancel. I can cancel that with that.
but that's all I can really see right now. Let's go ahead and write this one. 3x over x minus 2 times 2 over 10. Well, the 2 and the 10, I guess I could have seen that a second ago. That can reduce slightly. Uh, but really nothing else. Um, and again, I'm multiplying, so I multiply straight across. I get 3x over 5 times x minus 2. I know that there's no point in um, expanding that because it's not going to refactor into anything that has a 3 or an x in it. So that, I believe, is it. Enjoy. Um, next class, we'll have review and then a mini test over this uh, algebra stuff. Then we'll get on to the geometry. Yay.